Hi everyone, this is Beef, and this is a Let's Play of Men of Valor. Now this game takes place in the Vietnam War, just like that other game I had, um, Viet Cong by Pterodon, and it seems that Fraps won't uh, record the intros, but heck with it. Let's see, yeah, I like to crank up the dialogue volume. So I can be able to hear why I'm hear what these guys are saying, since they have no subtitles in this game. Nope. All right. All right, everyone. We're gonna we're gonna do with like the training because I think I was just I was doing a a take on this earlier, but then I decided heck with it, let's just start over. And of course they have all these um these interesting dialogue bits or about a lot of quotes and facts about the Vietnam War. Alright. Okay, here we are. And we were riding on a M274 mule. It can go faster than an actual mule. Okay, and this stuff, and remember folks, this thing is only meant for cargo carrying. And general transport, tr like troop transports. And look, it's a mutt. I call them up because it has a horizontal gr front grill. I think, and they they say that jeeps are still used, but but jeeps are the, are um they're also um yeah they're indicated by um the the vertical grill. Okay. All right. So here we are. I have to go start off to go start the obstacle course. Follow orders. Zonk. Yeah, crouch. And if you can start hearing music in the background. I think it's like they also have some copyright music in this. To like, to actually reflect the, what the music at the time was. Okay, prone. Stay low, that's live fire. I kind of wonder, uh, you know, in Call of Duty 1, they had a similar situation during the training. You know, like go prone and you see a machine gun fire. That's how it works. Okay, yeah. Okay, wound management from the medic. Okay, icons gold, full health. Take damage, it's coupled place with red. Dark red burnt damage, flash red, bleeding damage, bleeding damage lower health over time. So, okay, bandage a wound. Now hold F to bandage. Okay, it's more effective when you're not moving. Medic kits and canteens recover lost health. Yeah, this is kind of like Medal of Honor, but given that this is this game's developed by 2015, and which also did Medal of Honor Allied Assault, well, not surprising. Okay. All right. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. I'm just reading that. Improve right mouse for improved accuracy and such. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. So what we have here is the M14, which I guess in the early part of the Vietnam War was um, the bread and butter of 
like of infantry rifle. But the thing is that um, you could say it's like the successor to the M1 Garand. Basically, you could say it's an M1 Garand with a four, a fifteen, oh no, 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 twenty round ma magazine. Yeah, twenty round magazine. So, check these out. All right. Ah, uh, I wish I could just, like turn off that radio. Yep. Yeah, this is like the. This is one of those games that you had to select the grenade and uh, toss it. I mean, that's what early Medal of Honor games had at the time. Alright. Do. Ah, the M60. Alright, here we go. Ah. I literally need to aim that. Okay. I kind of wonder, do M60s always have this kind of fire rate? That makes you wonder. Because I thought their th firing rate is much slower than that. And you gotta know that uh, M60s are uh, kind of like a mix of an MG42 and an FG42, from what I've heard, at least. The MG42 is like a German World War II era. Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh. Hang on a sec. I can start seeing. I can see what appears to be goats coming this way. All right, clear out goats. You don't want to become goat meat here. Ah. It's like you had to eyeball the. You had to eyeball the range when you had to when you're trying to launch the grenade launcher or pff, launch the grenades out of the grenade launcher okay okay buckshot basically this is a shotgun I don't know I'm not sure if it's useful unless you're close range okay Okay, cover fire. All right. All right. Uh huh. Must there be a radio at every every corner or something? Booby trap, boot traps. Keep on eye out for trap markers. Okay, that way they that's that's how VC kind of like alert each other. They don't want to get caught in their own traps that way. All right, watch out for punchy stakes and these things. Yep, 7.62 NATO ammo. That's what the M14 does. Five targets in the jungle. They could be VC. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting VC. Alright. Ah, uh, there's the first one. Oh ho. Yep, 7.62 nay rounds are really powerful.
Okay, when you're on the water, you move slower and can't go prone. Aha! Do do do. Stay alert. Right. Thick jungles. Yeah, it's interesting that that in some games like this that you just go you, Yeah. It doesn't exactly go into iron sights. Just kinda like zooms in a bit. It's amazing how this cursor uh gets yeah, how it forms up to be accurate. Alright. Was that four? Or was it three? I don't know. Alright. See anything? No, I don't. Just a bunker. Okay, um, that's the. Okay, that's just the command line. Where's the freaking objectives button? Whoa. Alright. Moving close enough. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Huh. Just a flesh wound. Bunker mark, get back to safe cover. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. That seems a little expensive to be spending that money for a training course. I mean, just to drop ordnance on practice targets. Okay. Huh. Interesting fact. After years of sending advisors, supplies, and military assets to combat insurgency in South Vietnam, the United States decides to commit ground troops to guard its bases and personnel from rising guerrilla activity. In March of 1965, the 9th Marine Expeditionary Force comes ashore at Da Nang to provide protection to the airfield and vital port. Greeted with enthusiasm by the local population, the Marines hope their presence will deter Viet Cong activity in the vicinity of Da Nang. But this is not to be. As guerrilla activity intensifies, American military personnel become favored targets. Within a month, President Johnson authorizes the Marines to begin offensive combat operations around Da Nang. At first, these operations are small in scale, aimed at locating the Viet Cong and preempting their attacks. Most engagements are intense, but over quickly, as the Viet Cong disperse before the superior firepower of American forces. These actions result in much higher casualties for the Viet Cong than for the Americans they attack, prompting many observers to suggest that the conflict in Vietnam will be a very short one. Have you seen any action yet? Action? Hell, two days ago I got my ass bitten off by fire ants. Other than that, no. Been working on my suntan. <laughs> this country is beautiful though, ain't it? It sure is. Okay, Don, I think that's all. Thanks, soldier. Fire ants? Jesus. Exciting stuff, Morris. Don, let me get a sign off here. <clears throat> this is Morris Schiffer reporting from the Da Nang Air Base, Vietnam, with the Marines of the 3rd Battalion. Yeah, you know that in the Vietnam War, 
I mean, yeah, yeah, news reports start showing up more often in the war zones. Hoss, smooth, Bobby, uh, Ernie, <laughs> Zook, Grease, all right. Yo, chef, pick up that football. It's under the truck. Football? <laughs> ah, yeah, um. So yeah, you're uh, you're Dean Shepard in the in this game. Go right here, man. Hot, 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 hike. Wait. Nice toss. Grease up. Heads up. Hoss, go along. Shoot, I'm a defensive tackle, man. Keep that thing away from me, Shepard. Oop. Man gets hit by football. <laughs> oh. Get your asses in gear. Whoa. I want you men to grab your gear and get back here in 15. Big get Charlie down. is launching those rockets from the surrounding hills. Don't expect they'll be around when we get out there, but we'll take a few patrols out there just in case. Dismissed. Wow, I feel bad for the guy that was just in the middle of fixing that truck there. Dear Mom, I'm still safe and sound. None of us have seen any real action, although the lieutenant says we're due to head out on patrol sometime soon. We spend most of our time drilling and just throwing the football around. Reminds me of two-a-day football practices back in high school. Us black marines mostly stick to ourselves and don't get bothered much. Lawrence Stiles, the, the guy we call Smooth, got in a shoving match with some white guys about buttoning in line at the mess. But he's from Detroit and had a chip on his shoulder. I did make friends with a big white farm boy from Iowa who everybody calls Hoss. And he keeps most of the crackers off our backs. It's been a smooth couple of weeks. The base gets mortar and rocket fire almost nightly, but no one in my unit's been hurt. And we're almost getting used to it, if you can believe that. The locals are pretty nice to us. Although some of the guys say the villagers are the same ones shooting rockets at us, I have a hard time believing it. It's been dry for a month. Dirt's pretty red. Reminds me a lot of Oklahoma in the summer. I'll write you again as soon as anything happens. I hope you and Dad and Jamie are all right. Think about you all the time. Your son, Dean. Uh, of course, uh, yeah, watch this. Transitions to the... Hoss, you must have pissed someone off. Either that, or you're dumber than I thought. Well, how you figure? White boy like yourself getting stuck going out in the bush with a bunch of brothers. Ain't you heard, Smooth? Charlie don't like to fire black folk. The way I see it, I stay close to you. I go home on a freedom bird and not in a body bag. <laughs> Man, fuck that noise. Charlie does not discriminate. Still, we keep pulling jobs like this one. We should get out of the nam with no more than a scratch. Then why the hell are we riding up top instead of inside the APC? This tin can hits a booby trap on the road. You don't want to be inside. Trap no bounces around in there like a rubber ball. But up here we sitting ducks for an ambush. There ain't gonna be no ambush. Lieutenant Trazek says that Charlie Scott out of here weeks ago. They pop in and shoot a rocket at the base and then leave. A grunts have been running patrols through here for the last month. Oh, we gotta get going. Mày 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 Hey, Hoss, you got experience with them farm animals? Why don't you get out and milk that thing or something? <laughs> Very funny, Greaser. Very funny. Move that goddamn bull, Mama Song! Oh. Okay. So much for the ambush. Get some cover! Oh. On this side of the APCs, watch <laughs> for sniper fire! I'm looking. So much, yeah, so much for no ambush, I mean. Big crater. Sucker was probably a 400-pounder. Good Christ. Should we call for a medevac? Huh. For that red spot over there? Shit, man. Anybody got an E-tool? Show some fucking respect, asshole. That could be any one of us over there. Sorry, sir. You see anything, Tony? Negative. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. Snipers along the tree line! Contact! Gooners on the tree line. 
This is what they pay us for, Marines. Move up to cover. Come on. I can't believe this, man. Contact. Shit. Ah, uh, huh. Okay. Um, so, so, to save this way, guys, I'm going to cut off this video. So next time on Men of Valor, we definitely get into action here. So see you then.